Paramount will stop making Transformer movies when you stop watching them. <laughs> or so he tells his friends. More powerful than the Pounding Surf. Pounding Surf being his pet name for Aquaman. <laughs> Mightier than a roaring hurricane. Or what Chicagoans call Tuesday. The <laughs> The man of steel! Clark Kent! I mean, shit, I'm in real trouble! <laughs> Possessing remarkable physical strength, Superman fights a never-ending battle for truth and justice. Disguised as a mild-mannered newspaper reporter, Clark Kent. Not very well disguised, but come on, for an alien from another world, this is pretty good. <laughs> Superman! Fighting creaking frogs, chirping crickets, and muppets who talk backwards to teach you the force! <laughs> Did we just see the murder of Thing from the Addams Family? <laughs> Another Friday night for a young Norman Bates. Flash! This cartoon is about the Flash. Sorry for the Superman credits, the new Justice League movie is throwing us off a bit. Flash <laughs> outside the city. He has been identified as the watchman at the Metropolis Munitions Plant. There's a story, or I'm no reporter. He is believed go, to girl. be the victim. <laughs> 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 Sounds like there might be a story at the plant, Lois. Lois? Me name is Lois, not Lois. Chief Wiz, everybody interpolates me name wrong. Uh, what is happening right now? <laughs> yes, Lois. Er, uh, uh, Louise. Er, uh, Lucy. Now I'm so mixed up, I don't know who I am. Your pervy McCreep face and you belong in a Ralph Bakshi film. <laughs> this is Philadelphia's idea of going green. <laughs> okay, Watchman. Take your post in the main shop and be on the alert. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Oh, pardon me. The threatening old guy standing at door music. <laughs> Here at the DC factory, people are trying to figure out why Lego Batman is the best Batman movie in years. <laughs> that makes no sense. There, I'm done labeling She Hawk's vibrator. Now, what do I do? <laughs> Upstairs, 12 o'clock. Very important. Um, who are you? <laughs> Put upstairs, 12 o'clock. Very important. My lips are finally gonna fly off my face. I want you to see. <laughs> wow, this whole factory is responsible for building Bill Maher's smugness. I wonder what the big shot wants. Ooh, they fine. <laughs> This looks like a job for a useless pawn. That was a good job you did on The Watchmen last night. Zack Snyder knows how to destroy a good superhero movie. <laughs> now, what can he do with Superman? Get to the switch on the plant floor below. What done The Watchmen? Yeah, some good snooping there, Lois. I think Andrew would be proud. <laughs> it's okay, I'm fake news! <laughs> Get that girl. Get that 50-year-old midlife crisis having girl. <laughs> Say. Jesus, Spider Gwen in heels couldn't move like that. <laughs> you will join the cult of Fixic Felix. <laughs> Took me a while to see you there. <laughs> hey, look, I'm an airplane. <laughs> <laughs> me too. <laughs> Hey, they're putting you in Torpedo 777. That's pretty lucky. <laughs> All right, man. Now load in the dynamite. Well, that security guard got huge. Yeah, that's what happens when you get your guards from the Sunny Acres retirement home. <laughs>
just another day for the evil blind puller. <laughs> Jones speaking. Hello, Jones. We're ready for the test. Send out the torpedo immediately. Immediately. Was that really warranting? Wah, 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 music. <laughs> Green Tractor, helping develop weapons of mass destruction for 80 years. Here comes the torpedo now. Isn't this exciting, Beaker? <laughs> for experimental purposes, there is no explosive in the torpedo. There is a reporter named Lois Lane, but I never liked her columns. <laughs> In a bizarre twist, that pervy guy named Lewis from earlier saves the day. Uh, did you forget to show a scene? <laughs> okay, stand by. Ready? Fire! What, does Superman say fire? I guess he's finally fed up with her. <laughs> well, blows me down. Something's gonna blows me up. <laughs> How did he save her when he can't even open his eyes? Miss Lane, Miss Lane, are you all right? Superman, they're about to blow up the plant. And I'm Southern now for some reason. Switch. Most people make a bubblegum popping sound when punched by the Man of Steel. I'll escape in this and nobody will ever if I will. No, 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 this is not what I wanted! Ah! Superman! He leapt out on the passenger side! That confuses me! <laughs> now watch as he spells Francis with him. <laughs> it's time for me to pick up this truck and drop it off in a safe way. Or I could do this too. Seems a bit more complicated. <laughs> I immediately regret this. <laughs> Again, feel like we missed a scene somehow. <laughs> well, Pop, Superman put an end to their little act, and this puts an end to yours, Clark Kent. Oh, yeah. You're really good at seeing through disguises, Lois. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Superman, you know! So you don't have to. Nope, nope, nope. nope. Reshoot, reshoot, reshoot. What are you guys doing here? The chart says we need to redo the review. <laughs> On whose authority? DC. The Department of Cameos. Who <laughs> made the trailer for this review? The one with the pop song? You mean the one I was told to do like another comic book trailer that may or may not have a talking raccoon in it? We can't confirm nor deny that. <laughs> it's a big hit, and we need to add more comedy. You're changing halfway just because a competitor is doing better? Well, DC is usually a few months behind. Years. Ha! Decade. It's okay, we're doing it for the fans. Doing what? Cutting out what they like the most. Let's go GOP on this sucker! <laughs> Obviously we have to drop the clown. Well, it goes without saying. Mm. Oh, I wouldn't do that. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jin's been playing Joker Offset like Jared Leto did on the movie. Oh, by the way, here you go. What? Yeah, he mails that shit like Leto too, because the real Joker would do that. Oh look, anal beads! Ah! Just like the real master of crime. How is this even fun?
funny. The Joker's supposed to be funny. Knock, knock. Who's there? You're holding anal beach. <laughs> The more authentic grills are falling out. Well, I'm a man of many surprises. You sure they aren't just plastic teeth? I'm a man of many surprises! Okay, quiet! <laughs> Listen, Jim. Jim? Who's Jim? Sounds like a handsome guy. Joker. Jared Leto playing Joker? Yeah. <laughs> Every time, yeah. Listen, we appreciate that you're trying to create buzz, but doesn't the Joker murder people and blow up buildings? Yeah, but that's like dangerous. I'd rather just pretend that stuff. Oh, just like the real Joker. Yeah. So uh, while you're pretending to do that other stuff, why don't you also pretend that you're doing this second grader discovering what a trollish dick? Well, I... Wouldn't be able to act like an asshole for no reason? Oh, just like the real Jared Leto. No, no! Yes. So that's time to justify. I'm deeper than I thought, which I can also say for those anal beads. <laughs> cut him out. You can cut him out all you want. Right? Agreed! Though we're also going to have to redo the opening credits. What? How? It says dark and gritty movie like bright and neon. All right, let's just get me hyped up. I'm ready for action. Negative. Our chart showed that some people prefer it when you sit at a desk and do nothing. Oh, come on, who would want to start Suicide Squad with someone just sitting down for 20 minutes just talking about the main characters? So <laughs> we start Suicide Squad with someone sitting down for 20 minutes just talking about the main characters. Her name is Amanda, played by Viola Davis. She's an intelligence officer with an idea so insane it's just crazy enough not to work. Who do we call when the next Superman comes to take us out? Wonder Woman. No. The Flash. No. Aquaman. No. Cyborg. No. Batman. No. Lego Batman. How about the villains those heroes fought? Nope. <laughs> no, no, even though that would arguably save hundreds of lives, that's not what happens. They actually hear her out. If another person as strong as Superman comes, we have to be ready. Are you seriously telling me that supervillains will do less harm than Superman? Did you forget how good Metropolis looked after Superman saved it from Zot? Okay, yeah. Let's look at this crazy. Our first mugshot is Deadshot. Deadliest assassin around and possible savior of Will Smith's career. It also turns out he has a daughter who knows how to play peacekeeper when he pisses off the wrong people. <laughs> It's over, Deadpool. Deadshot! Oh. Well, this movie got a lot less cool. <laughs> oh, please! Killing him won't solve anything! He'll just turn him into a cold-hearted monster that any decent human being would immediately lose affection for! Yeah, well, that's never stopped me before. Now move out of the way, kid. I'm gonna shoot your daddy. I was talking to him, not you! Oh, sorry! Usually when people are angry about a costume man killing people, it's about me. You win, kid. Oh, but I wanted to kill him! Hi, Batman! Next on our list is Captain Boomerang. He's pretty much rock stated from Ninja Turtles before he was the Rhino. His superpower? You guessed it. Boomerang. You're going to take down the next Superman with a boomerang. Admittedly, it does sound stupid. Amazingly stupid. But she'll be distracted when I tell you that the Flash is in this movie. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is that disgusting reptilian beast? That's the reason people are gonna have to call us Academy Award-winning Suicide Squad. Our team gets the best makeup over a Star Trek film for some reason. The scaly Warner himself, the Croc. Next is Diablo, who can create fire and has sworn off violence. But we're saving his backstory for later, so we'll just skip him for now. <laughs> Polly Quinn, the Joker's girlfriend. What's her superpower? Fan service. 
She used to be Dr. Harley Quinzel. She was assigned to the clown himself. He got inside her mind and made her a dangerous killing machine. <laughs> Okay, are you reading her criminal record or her trading card? Yes, her trading card. Well, what does her criminal record say about how she can help us? Um, she has a mallet. Okay, last one. Okay, last one. The Enchantress. A young doctor went exploring in a cave and got possessed by an evil witch. She wants to take over the world and may have the power to do so. Under our control, though, she is the most powerful thing alive. And that's all you need. What? The Enchantress. That's all you need. You can chuck the rest of that binder into the garbage. Hey, I worked hard to find the worst of the worst. And you came across boomerangs, mallets, guns, a petting zoo, and a guy who makes fire who no longer makes fire. This is all you need. All your attention should be on her. He's right. We don't need to worry about them as long as we have that witch under control. Yeah, what do you got her under uh, lockdown or military surveillance? Better. We have one guy looking after her in a hotel room. <laughs> <laughs> it's clearly not enough! What are you, a moron?! I can assure you it's okay. I can call to prove it. <laughs> oh, hi Colonel Amanda here. I was just wondering how What's that? <laughs> oh. Uh huh. Oh. Just let me know how that works out. <laughs> so it appears she's escaped. <laughs> well, no, the person that's bent on taking over the world will try to rule the world. <laughs> Clearly mean security guards played by Ike Barinholtz. He's given a surprise visit in his off time by Mr. J. I can't wait to show you my toys. I know, you mailed me your anal beads last week. The <laughs> new me wants to show you my actual scary toys. We're not gonna see them, are we? No, that scene's been cut. <laughs> as well as this scene. Of course. But that doesn't mean that I can't hurt you off screen. Critic? Critic! Well, knock it off, Jim, and let Walter go. But I thought about what you said, Critic. That I need to get more psychotic to get into character. In fact, if you look under your desk, you might find another present I left for you. Oh, Christ. A dead mouse. Oh, yeah, you really up in your game there. Well, not just any dead mouse. Doesn't it look a little familiar? Like a certain pet you have at home? You can keep the knife. What knife? Now <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a knife. The guard does, however, throw on his pockets. Here, your douche of a boyfriend said to give you that. Aw, how sweet. <laughs> You're in so much trouble. <laughs> trouble? Big trouble? What kind of trouble? What's gonna happen to me? Nothing happens to him. <laughs> yeah, he disappears from the film altogether, in fact. Ah, another one of our brilliant cuts. We fizzled that dizzle. For shizzle. My bizzle. <laughs> yeah, but literally any payoff would have worked here, no matter how tiny. The Joker could blow up his home or take him out while on a run. Or, since he's fond of mailing things, he could get this in the mail. Don't understand, Critic. We're doing it for the fans. Yeah, you keep saying that. What does that excuse mean? It means we don't have to explain that much because the fans already know. Like, look at this character on their mission. I am Katana, and my sword holds the souls of the enemies that I kill with it. Here's a clip of me doing stuff with it. Ooh. <laughs> That's all they need to know. No, you got her stats and backstory down, but we don't know her. 
What's her personality, interests, dislikes, character traits? It's not like, say, an X-Files movie where the characters are already established in a TV show. This is a different interpretation that needs to be established. Look, I know our competitors. They may or may not have a talking raccoon. Give their characters individual movies and then put them together into one. That makes audiences understand them better and cheer for them when they come together. I totally forgot where I was going. <laughs> However, our fans don't need that because they've got the comics. Gandalf would be so much stronger if they replaced him with a Lord of the Rings paperback and said, Come on, you know this guy, right? <laughs> in fact, we were even toying with the idea of replacing every character in this movie with recommended issue numbers. That way they can read up on the characters, and we don't even have to write them. So while you may think for the fans means lazy, we like to think it means... Not that. <laughs> Name one personality trait of Katan. Oh, I don't know. I don't read comics. <laughs> so the guy watching the Enchantress, who also happens to be in love with her, is Rick Flagg. This guy is like Ford, the main character in Godzilla, and that he's so forgettable you probably don't even realize this isn't Ford from Godzilla, this is. Because he can pretty much be switched out with anyone, I'm just gonna play his part. <laughs> why you? Because if characters can be introduced with no rhyme or reason, why can't I be one? He's tricked by the Enchantress to break out of Amanda's control along with her resurrected brother. This calls for the most unqualified people in the world. So he leads his team of villains to stop the Enchantress from taking over the world and- Wait a minute. How come I didn't get any bright credits or backstory? Uh, oh, um, I, I don't know. <laughs> what, the Native American guy doesn't get any attention? Oh no, um, there's nothing like that. I'm just here to die, aren't I? <laughs> no. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. You're gonna use the remote in that hand to blow up the chip inside my head. Hey, 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 everybody has a chip in their head, okay? If you try to escape, you die. All right, I'm not signaling anyone out. I think he's lying. You should give it a shot. Did, did you hear that? <laughs> he's trying to kill me. Discount Sokka here is trying to kill me. God's sake, you're not just here to die. What's my name? Oh. Oh. Spirit Iron Knife? Thunderhawk. Nightwolf. Uh, Cleveland Red Shirt. Dances with Lawyer from Jurassic Park. You know what, screw you guys! I'm not dying for any of you assholes. Alright, fine. I'll dismantle your chip out of white guilt. You happy? <laughs> It was so inspiring. Damn it, Jim, you're a real asshole! Stop killing my cast! Don't blame me. Blame the character. <laughs> I know it's a risky method, and people probably won't like me for it, but I thought the sacrifice was worth it for the character. Now what are you doing? Well, that's the whole reason why I'm doing this. So I can gloat to reporters about how awesome I am. Get out of here! <laughs> what do you think about people claiming you're only doing this for attention? They're right. <laughs> Suicide Squad make their way towards the Enchantress. They enter an office building to discover the Enchantress's minions, putties. <laughs> okay, I know they're not technically putties, but they look like them, sound like them. And people don't realize how surprisingly easy they are to kill. Wow, our range would be a lot shorter if they just shot people. We're not so lucky. All right, squad, let's fight like we don't have comfortable careers to fall back on if this movie doesn't do well. Wait a minute! I don't think this is dark enough. Oh, you mean like there needs to be more twisted characters or plot lines? No. <laughs> Much better. Now fight! <laughs> shoot a fight scene in the dark. Don't people want to see the action? Again, Critic, the less we give people, the more they can fill in what's good about it. You wouldn't understand, Critic. It's for, for the, the fans. fans. I've got it. Well, Christ, there's gotta be a way around this. Oh, yeah, come on. <laughs> Wait a minute. And then there's Harley Quinn. Oh, that's <laughs> 
<laughs> and then there's Katana! <laughs> Arigato. <laughs> the Professor and Marianne! As you can see, Harley goes in the elevator. Hi, guys. Well, come on. Why are y'all looking at her like that? She fought him off. Yeah, that's what she does. That's what we hired her to do. Why would we bring her if she couldn't fight anyone off? Fan service? Fan service? I'm gonna have to say fan service. <laughs> Come on, it's for the fans. Come on, get there, man! This isn't my fight! You gotta stand for something. So Diablo isn't fighting, but Deadshot and Boomerang try to convince him to. Don't touch me! Oh, you don't want me to touch you? Oh, look, I'm touching you, I'm touching you! But Deadshot doesn't realize it can take years to transform a man who's sworn on violence. Ah! Damn. <laughs> wow. That took like nothing. Yeah, I know. Is that really all it took to get you back into violence? I don't know. Years of pacifism destroyed. By tapping on your head? Just don't like people touching my head, okay? It's <laughs> mine! Well, we appreciate your sacrifice. Yeah, it's like one of those guys going vegan for a day. I know, right? Pussy. <laughs> About time you got here. Oh, right. They first had to save Amanda from being destroyed by the Enchantress's wrath. And you wouldn't have made it here without them. Admit it, Grit. I was right. Say that again. I was right about the Suicide Squad. You were right? Oh, yes. <laughs> you were right. You were right? <laughs> you were right. That big shit bitch out there, the one that's destroying the city, I'm sure you're aware of her. Uh, she was part of a certain team, a super team. Am I correct? Yeah. Uh, and uh, there was a name, a name for this certain team, if I recall, that, that you gave it, correct? Yeah. And what was the name of that team again? The one that you gave? I, I can't remember. Suicide Squad. Was it? <laughs> Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad. Wait a minute! That can't be it! Because she's part of the team you were right about! Correct <laughs> me if I'm wrong, but if this dream team was never put together, the one you were right about, none of this bullshit would be happening! I'd be in bed right now! <laughs> it's almost like all of this is entirely your goddamn fault! <laughs> You have a Suicide Squad, and she's part of the Suicide Squad, and she has a death beam. Here it is. Here's the death beam. Here she is. All the way here. The death beam reaches across the end of the Suicide Squad. Are you joining the yard? Let's just hope the new Wonder Woman movie's better. <laughs> so the Joker comes to save Harley Quinn, which many diehard fans have a problem with. Darling! <laughs> Most incarnations of the two have the Joker treating Harley like garbage. A means to an end he wouldn't bat an eye to save. But here's the thing. Harley Quinn, in terms of Batman lore, has not been around very long. 
so her story is more open to changes in the future. This is an interpretation that's different, but honestly kind of interesting. We've had plenty of times where the Joker's been self-centered, but this is actually kind of fascinating to see him vulnerable and care about somebody. It's an aspect of the character not often explored. So, regardless of which one you like better, I actually don't think it's a bad version to have out there. Especially because it's pretty dysfunctional either way. <laughs> oh. My bad. <laughs> Harley, it's unlikely I'll be in the rest of this picture. Really? Yeah, in the grand scheme of things, I was pretty pointless. <laughs> Remember me as the greatest Joker who ever... Uh, one of the greatest Jokers who ever... Uh, the one who was played by your douchebag actor? Okay. Well, at least I remember for something. Yay, attention! Answers from Rick, here is true. Look, Rick Flag, or whatever your real name is. Actually, that is supposed to be my real name. Seriously? <laughs> okay, look, we need some answers. Okay, the most powerful entity in the world has escaped and now wants to take over the world. Yeah, we know, we saw that scene. Yeah, you just showed it from a slightly different angle. Yeah, kind of weird repeating that. No, no, the chart says this is where you're supposed to feel hopeless and give up! <laughs> What? That doesn't seem in character with any of us. Yeah, every day could be our last, you know? No, 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 no. This is the part where you have to feel defeated and push out. Wait, the bad guys are supposed to push out? Jiggy. Don't say Jiggy. I literally invented Jiggy. <laughs> <sighs> okay, let's go and feel hopeless, I guess. Sure am feeling hopeless in here. Yeah, it's not like we risk life and death every day. Yeah, I'm crazy, so I don't know why I'm here. Well, we haven't gotten a line from Croc in a while. <laughs> I'm a dinosaur. <laughs> also, Diablo's backstory. We don't know that. I killed my entire family. Yeah, sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't shock any of you? We're bad guys. How many times do we have to say it in this damn movie? Yeah, we should be like, she's not taking over the world, we're taking over the world. Yeah, screw this scene, man! Let's give the audience what they goddamn pay for! Wait, you're supposed to give a motivational speech! Supervillains, by definition, are the most motivated people in the world! I'm not giving to any more of your goddamn cliches! We are gonna defeat her ultimate weapon of a portal in the sky, son of a bitch! <laughs> who keeps putting that movie? Who is that one asshole who keeps putting that cliche in there? <laughs> <laughs> it's you, isn't it? White shark guy! You're the one that keeps putting it in all these films! Why? Is it some sort of sick erotic thrill for you? Do you have some sort of specific fetish for it? No, critic. It's not that at all. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some paperwork to do. <laughs> Avengers. Oh, Fantastic Four. Oh, Ghostbusters. You know my needs. I'll cry. Come on, let's go from one dark, shadowy location to another dark, shadowy location. To boldly go. So the squad get to the Enchantress and try to stop her. It's time for you measly mortals to die! Soon the world will bow to my mercy! It is the end of days and... What? What are you doing? What? This is just the way that I move! What? It just is! What are you gonna do, the man I will destroy you all! Hey, hey, 
You know those little dancing hula dolls you put on your dashboard? <laughs> Because as it turns out, I can do this the whole time. What the hell is that thing? What the hell did we know he could turn into that? Let me guess. For the fans. <laughs> he changes, shows them the life they always wanted and she could give them if they only join her side. Please, Daddy, don't move her! Do you see the bad signal? <laughs> is destroyed, releasing the doctor inside, and the squad go back to prison, this time treated with a little more respect. But there's one more twist. Hutton! Let's go home. <laughs> character we knew was alive turns up and that's your big clencher ending? But it's the Joker, and anything he's in is immediately amazing. No, like anything, the Joker done right is amazing. Here, like everything else in this movie, it's just done... passable. Despite it being a big hit, this movie divided a lot of audiences. Some loved it, some hated it, others thought it was okay. Honestly, they're all understandable. None of it makes sense, and the pacing and tone feels incredibly inconsistent. And I can't imagine why that is. What can we say except you're welcome? <laughs> you have to be pretty forgiving. <laughs> but when the style and all-around coolness works, I am kind of forgiving of it. It's got a lot of dumb, boring moments, but the badass moments are enough for me to say I'm glad I saw it. I know comic book audiences are already pretty complicated, but hearing all this, you can hopefully figure out if this is the right kind of dumb for you, or the wrong kind of dumb for you. But I'm still legitimately pissed off at the ending. Just with the Joker coming in and that's it, I'm sorry, this should have gone out on a higher note. Well, you know what? This is my take on Suicide Squad, and I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna replace the Joker with the one character I know would get a gigantic reaction.